Okay, we're back with my folding quadcopter project. Uh, from a previous video, I had posted the frame itself. Now I have all it outfitted with the electronics, um, and it's uh, ready to go. So I'm just going to give you the dimensions and then a quick overview of this uh, of this build. Um, the length itself is about 13 inches long with it all folded, about eight inches wide, and about seven or six and three quarters inch high to the top of the props, not counting like this mo this FPV antenna or the GPS antenna. <clears throat> so, the frame itself made from G10, 1.3 millimeter G10, nice and stiff and strong. I got it off of Alibaba. I ordered it online and uh, it's uh, I really like working with it. I was using Lexan a lot, and um, but I find this is way better. Highly recommend. Um, okay, so what else we got on this? The specs. Um, I'm using my Sunny Sky V2216 11 uh, 900 kV motors with 10 by 4.5 inch props, um, slow fi plastic props. Um, eventually, because I really like this quad, I'm going to get some better props than these. These are flimsy and this copter is really hefty and I don't really think that these props are suited for any long term use for this uh, this weight of a copter. And I'll get to the weight here in a second. Um, Hobby King ESCs, Hobby King 20 amp um, ESCs flash for Simon K, my good old faithful ESCs that I really like and uh, they work awesome. I have a different uh, video with a tutorial on how to flash them. Um, running DJI NASA MV2 awesome flight controller in my opinion for um, GPS capability, uh, altitude, the barometer works awesome in it. It uh, makes this more into a flying robot than an actual kind of flying quadcopter per se. Like some of the, some people really like to be able to just fly their machines. I like to fly everything, so I enjoy, um, you know, free flight and I enjoy, you know, GPS assisted flight as well. It's kind of nice to be able to let your, you know, hands off the stick and it just hovers. Um, <clears throat> Ultimately, this is a backpack quad, so I want to take it if I go on a hike or something and, you know, pull it out and go fly around. So, it's nice to have the GPS hold. Um, 5,000 milliamp battery, 20C, really hefty. Um, FPV gear, FPV module. And, what else does it have? <clears throat> Landing gear is made out of aluminum. I was using plastic PVC, but now that uh, I've been flying a lot more, I haven't been crashing, and I don't really need the durability. Um, the aluminum landing, I just bent some aluminum landing gear, and it's really nice and durable. Using David Windestill's um, vibration dampening camera tray, made out of G10 as well, 1.3 millimeter. GoPro mounted on the front with, uh, with a skeleton frame and the vibration dampening on this is awesome, works really well and what's really nice about um, about this vibration dampening is that it uh, the battery provides it filters out a lot of the uh, low frequency or I should say high frequency vibrations so it works really well. If you don't have a battery on it surprisingly yeah it does it actually uh, does show the vibrations in the in the camera so you really do need some weight on this to counteract the effects of the of the props or the motors. Um, so the all up weight is um, 1950 grams. It's a hefty beast when I have the GoPro, the FPV and the 5000 milliamp hour battery. Um, without FPV, GoPro and all uh, and 5000 milliamp battery it comes to 1240 grams. So uh, it's uh, it's pretty heavy but not too heavy have a voltage alarm also on it as well and then the uh, the DJ NASA LED on the back so you can see what's going on so it tells you uh, the status so to unfold it <clears throat> just awesome just unfolds really easy also I should mention that these arms are Hobby King um, 12 millimeter or I think half inch aluminum arms I like aluminum because it doesn't shatter if you have a wreck or anything, but uh, you know, just depends on what you like. And I like that it's hollow. I run all the wires inside into the frame and then 
all out to the distribution inside for power distribution and then to the uh, NASA. So it just unfolds just like that. And now it won't even fit in the frame, it's so wide. So let's see if I can put this all in the frame. There we go. So from motor to motor, it's uh, two feet. Pretty much exactly two feet. I, uh, I don't know what that is in millimeters, um, but you can do the conversion. So it's nice and wide. Um, if I can get that in the frame like that. But yeah, so we've taken something that's uh, nice and compact, and uh, it folds out to be nice and big. So great, you can put some bigger props on it, which I plan on if I get some slower KV motors. I might go up to the 11-inch prop. Um, just depends. I've had it out for a flight. It's, right now it's really cold. It's like minus 12, so I won't get out for a flight for the next few days. So I might post this video before I get a flight. Um, but I'll, I'll get a flight in, and I'll post uh, some video from the camera itself on board and, uh, and from a fixed camera on the ground or on my head. Let's see. So there you go. It folds up nice and easy, nice and small. And it does fit in a backpack or a toolbox and uh, it's nice and compact. So I really like this frame. So um, I'll post a link in the description below to the frame itself that I got off of uh, D, um, DYI drones and also some of the components and where I got them. Um, <clears throat> and just should mention the hardware I'm using is just uh, number six bolts and nuts. Um, or you could use four millimeter, three or four millimeter, depending on the, what you have access to. So, anyways, thanks for watching and. Uh, I hope I have some, like I said, I hope I have some flight video up soon. And this was an awesome build. This is probably my favorite build so far. And uh, I just like that it's so compact and sturdy. So, okay. Well, thanks for watching and uh, until the next video.